My name is Michael Dos Santos and I'm a commercial content producer. We produce uh, photography and video for advertising. Running for me is definitely a stress reliever when it comes to my work life. Um, it definitely, you know, whether I'm working in Texas and Japan, London, anywhere in the world I can run. Um, and, you know, I've definitely run in some interesting places. I was in Marfa, Texas uh, back in September, went on a run for pretty much like a five mile run just to start my day and ended up running alongside a, uh, a cargo train that was like probably a good 300 to 400 feet long. Ran alongside it for like 20 minutes, right at sunrise, you know, in the middle of the desert. It was, you know, pretty amazing. And it's, you know, it's moments like that, that like, you're like, wow. I mean, I grew up always loving sports and then played, played a lot of sports in high school, played soccer for a year, played football for a couple of years, ran track for two years. Um, more as a sprinter, but uh, I didn't really get into long distance running until my later years in college. Um, mostly to just stay in shape and lose weight. Um, and then once I moved to New York, um, I kept with kind of some long distance running and just training in general. Uh, did some boxing for a few years. Um, and then I ran the Boston, or I ran the New York Marathon twice. Um, I'm blanking on the years, but I know one of them was seven years ago because it was right before my daughter was born. That was the second time. And then the time before that was probably like 12 years ago at this point. So uh, New York Marathon's great. You know, it's New York. You run from Staten Island to Manhattan. You can literally see Manhattan and Central Park from the, the start line. So that's it's pretty intimidating. Uh, but it's a great marathon, a lot big turnout. So uh, that was definitely a big accomplishment to run that marathon. but. Just being from Boston, running the Boston Marathon's always been, you know, a lifelong dream. Just growing up, watching it on Patriots Day, whether it's on TV or when I was going to college in Boston, you know, going down there, kind of enjoying some of the party and the festivities around it. Um, you know, and just, it's, it's a pretty cherished marathon. It's a tough marathon. So, um, you know, I'm excited to do it just to fulfill my dream and, um, you know, run the Boston Marathon because I'm a hometown guy, so. I mean, running for me, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot to it for me. A part of it and, and the best part of it is it's a form, almost a form of meditation for me, especially a long distance run. Uh, you know, if I'm out there running for an hour or two, like, you know, you definitely have some time to think about some stuff and process things and just kind of get in the zone. Um, you know, I definitely like, I get that runner's high, like you get halfway through a run and just to know that you, you know, ran from one point to another. Sometimes, you know, I ran 13 miles the other day. I ran to my sister's house. I've never done that. She lives in Haverhill. I live in Ipswich. Like, it was pretty intense. I've been driving that, you know, path of that route for a while. And to actually run it, it was pretty cool to just feel like, yeah, I ran it. I left my car there the night before because she had a party. I took an Uber home and, you know, ran there the next day to get my car. So, um, you know, I like a good challenge. I've always challenged myself through life. So I feel like fitness for me is just another way to challenge myself. That's, you know, keeps me healthy. Obviously I, I challenge myself at work. Sometimes it's a little too much stress and that's not the healthiest thing. So for me, you know, fitness, challenging myself through running, I do a lot of CrossFit, I play hockey. So I, I stay pretty active. You know, running is just another form of fitness for me, but, um, you know, unlike the other ones, it's kind of, it also serves as, as a good like mental break. And representing the Pedro Martinez Foundation, you know, I'm honored to represent the foundation. For me, Pedro, you know, he's a Boston hero, man. I love the Red Sox. I love Pedro, I watched Pedro. I was at the game, you know, he struck out 19 people. Like I follow Pedro forever. So um, I really love what him and his wife are doing with their charity. And, you know, I thought it was a perfect fit for me to, to run the marathon for him. Not only what the charity does, but the fact that Pedro was, you know, a Boston hero, he was, you know, an ultimate competitor, um, you know, an ultimate Red Sox um, that, you know, running for his charity means, you know, means a ton for me. Um, getting to meet Pedro before the race and stuff like that is, you know, that's exciting for me, exciting to meet someone like that. Uh, I love what him and his wife are doing um, with their charity after, you know, he had such a successful career that, you know, he's taking the time to now do that in his, you know, second career.